fam. I'm back at it with enough, with some more content for you. Went over the Foot Locker today and wanted to get crafty with it. Now I had the original Jordan 4 Craft, the, the Photon Dust version. And um, that sneaker was nice, but I just felt like it would have been better if they had a little black hits on it. It just would have made it pop a little bit more. I think uh, with gray and cream, that was really something that you had to go with the earth tones and things like that, which that was cool, you know what I mean? But it just wasn't really for me. So I did flip that pair for the Mama Year 12s. Um, but I knew that the olive cramps were coming out. I just didn't think at the time that I would be getting them. But the more I looked at this sneaker, the more I felt like this one needed to be in the collection. So here we go without further ado. Get you a nice clean look at the Olive Craft. You can see this suede, it does brush. Very nice, very nice. You got, well, this might be a new buck over here. Can't really tell, you know, what they're calling a suede and what they're calling a new buck. But new buck is usually a better quality than, than suede in terms of leathers. But anyway, you got rough, you got the rough, uh, Suede over here, rough patches. I love the way that these craft fours, you had different materials all over. Crack leather over here on the black. Of course, heel tab has the jump man on it. Some people won't like that. I actually love it, you know, it represents Jordan. So for me, whether it says Nike Air or there's a jump man on the back, I don't mind it. Over here, you got a sale midsole. So this is a sneaker that you can really keep clean. And as far as, you know, those fall colored sneakers that were, you know, in the uh, earth tones and things like that, I just think this is one of the best ones. I know they had like the brown threes last year. Wasn't a fan of that. Um, you know, you've had a few odd colorways when it came to the earth tones and things like that. This one, I just think is one of the best. Now, this time I went true to size. True to size for me is a 10 and a half. I usually go with the 11, but um, I'm definitely gonna try them on once I get them relaced. As you can see, the factory laces are super tight. So uh, that's not gonna work for me. Once I relace them, you know, I'll go ahead and put them on and see, you know, how they're gonna do, uh, you know, compared to the, the, the my normal size 11s that I normally get in Jordans. But uh, I feel like the 10 and a half, it had a more snug fit on one shoe. So started going with that. Um, for me, you know, again, I've really felt like this one, it's an odd colorway, but it's a nice one, you know? And um, I definitely think it's one that, uh, that I'm happy to have in my collection. But I'm a guy who loves fours, you know? Fours and fives are probably my two favorite silhouettes. So anytime I can get a four for retail and easy, um, it's real easy right now, you know what I mean? I think this one was, even though I hit on a raffle, I actually hit twice, so that lets me know how easy it was gonna be. Um, the other one, that one's coming in from uh, Dick Sporting Goods. I'm gonna have to return that because I'm not gonna sell it back and take a loss, you know what I mean? Uh, and both of them are 10 and a half, so whenever that one gets here, you know, I'll just return it back to the store, but uh, happy to do the in-store pickup uh, today for this pair without having to wait for shipping or anything like that. Get a nice clean look at it and uh, nice smell of it, you know. Always love the, the way the new sneakers smell. But this is one that, I mean, a lot of dope fits that you could put together. Anything with black and gray, even what I got on today, you know. But uh, that was for the comparison sneaker, so. This shoe, you want to see another shoe for comparison's sake. Just grab the pair right off my foot. This was the Jade Green 5, which, you know, 5's, like I said, you know, probably my favorite silhouette. Street sneaker vibes. This is one of the originals with that, you know, aged outsole. You see that piss yellow, you know, I didn't, wear it that much to get that yellow. Uh, this was uh, already pre-aged, so this is one of the originals with that pre-aged vibe. Uh, Jade Green, this, you know, 
usually wear it with blacks and grays like I'm doing today. I think this shoe could be rocked with some similar, you know, looks. But here's a look at both of them, you know. So you got an idea, you know, different vibes. I do like this one better because there's a lot of different materials going on with it. So, you know, if you wear something like this, especially, you know, now for the holiday times, I, you know, this kind of reminds me of like some Christmas tree vibes or something, you know. I really think this is going to stand out, you know, well right now at this time of the year. Uh, but this is this one. This is a shoe that I love. I know this has got that leather that's, you know, going to patina over time. So if you never, you know, had a good look at a Jade Green 5, you know, nice little comparison. And, you know, colorway that I think is, is kind of similar because you're going to wear similar fits uh, with both of these sneakers. But, you know, 4 is a little bit cleaner with the smaller tongue and all of that. So that's why I've kind of gravitated towards the 4s lately. But I got a lot of 5s. So, you know, it is what it is. So that's it. Just, you know, quick video to go over Jordan 5, Jordan 5. J Green, Jordan 4, Green Olive. So with that, I'll be at back at it with the next one.